Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and before we start this episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn Proper, I am going to face my fears and do this level, because... Ugh, to hell with it, I, I am not going to have this hanging over my head for the entire project. I don't care what child me has to say. Okay, this looks more or less as I remember. Enclosed area, three of those bag fucks, 40 seconds. How bad could it be, surely? Okay, beep beep, and... Okay, I'm not seeing anything too particularly arsey yet. I mean, yeah, we've not got much time, but we're at 200 out of 250 already. I'm starting to have a sinking feeling that this might not be as hard as my child self made it out to be. And I say child self, I will have been... How old was I in... in... You see, that... What, what was so hard about that child me? You actual, legitimate, shyst womble. I mean, I would say turd no, but we've been there and done that. What was so hard about that? Okay... Wow. <laughs> and to think, I was going to spend the entire project being afraid of that level. Well, that's all been and done. And I think I shouldn't get ahead of myself. It didn't look like there was another bead collecting level. So I shall just head to the new world that we've opened then and get started with this episode proper. So, Waterland. How bad can it be? I mean, water levels are a thing that are not popular with people. Still, th this looks pleasant enough. I still prefer Treatland's aesthetic, but hey, Splash Beach sounds kind of like a candidate name for like the first level of a handheld Sonic game, if I'm completely honest, but hey, this is Kirby. Back together, and I'm never going down the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better, and every part of me is saying go get her. No, that's, stop it. Stop it, Tess, you're, you're doing all the things. Oh, oy. Okay, I'm having so many negative flashbacks already. Like, not for this level being particularly difficult, because we know that my child self can't be trusted all of a sudden, but the previous recording session, bloody haunted fluff weapon, or whatever the level was called, and the fact that Kirby doesn't jump out of water, he fucking bounces. Up until this point, that hasn't been that irritating. I feel like all of a sudden, with enemies that are very spiky, it's going to suddenly become a very problem. Hello there, tortoisels. Can you be helped? Can, can I? Nope, okay. That seems like something that they would have shown in the trailer for this game back when this game was first trailered. Oh, we have red, white, and blue, which is used by so many countries. Shut up, America. You're not special. But, okay, that that is, like, unrelated thought sort of, but just that um, when Americans pledge their allegiance to the old red, white, and blue, and I'm just like, you do realize that a lot of countries have red, white, and blue in their flags, right? I mean, I could rattle off an entire list here and now, but um, oh, I see what's going to happen here, and I love it already. It's the sun. Like, as it is. I could rattle off the whole list, but that would be rather boring, I think. But I can assure you there are only two independent sovereign states on this planet that have, um... Oh, I was supposed to get the the spiky end, wasn't I? Oh, well, this is technically worth more beads, I think. Yeah, by, by a factor of about two. Yeah, there are two countries in the world that don't have any red or white or blue on their flags. And that's, I believe, Jamaica and Mauritania. So... Shut up, the red, white, and blue is, like, not unique to America. You should know this. You there, with the blue. I can't whip downwards, otherwise you'd be dead by now. Knees. I shall grab you. Don't poke me, bro. Oh, I, I, I got your grabby groodle. Uh, that, mm, sounds like a euphemism. I don't... I don't like how this episode's turned out so far, because it seems like I'm just... failing at everything. And, okay, I did not double tap anything just then. So, Kirby, quite why you card? I don't know. I feel like I'm playing poorly. Or, at the very least, mediocrely. Why do you take so long to detransform? Like, the weather at the moment is warm. I can't play good or words good or both in warm weather. But at the same time, it seems fitting because it's waterland and it's tropical and stuff. Kirby, he did the bounce thing. You see, I, I did say he bounces in water and that is not a fun time because it's really not useful for getting out of water, especially on a time limit. You know, if, if there's stuff that might disappear, like beads and shitty nipples. Mm, I, we've discussed recently that is a, a cocktail, or, or a shot, or something, and this is a clock, I like it. If there's a, a moon counterpart, then I will be very happy. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to jump up and get that. We need to k 
kill one of these and use the other to kill the other. Or just kill them both. That's also a possibility. Or just kill one and miss the other and make for very unentertaining let's play footage and commentary and nipples. Why? Why nipples? Why is this just the nipple level? Oh. Let me guess. Those beads are going to disappear by the time I get back up there. Just a hunch. Oh, no, but they, they are still there. Well, that's all right, then, because they're pretty and multicolored, and I thought maybe you'd want me to do something fancy in order to get up there, but evidently not. No, Kirby. <laughs> I told you to grab the, the arrow so that you could grab the moment and have a fantastic time and get a little bit of height, because that's one thing that I've done surprisingly skillfully up until this point in this project, using the whip to get a little bit of extra height when jumping, because that is a thing that you can do. Believe it or not, I have demonstrated as much. Goddamn unreliable umbrellas in your... Tourist ass. Why, why, why would the umbrellas, who have clearly been here for centuries, be tourists? Kirby, again with the I don't jump out of water, I bounce because I'm so good at platforming. I didn't double tap. Kirby! See, a lot of the time, see, with the weather, I will readily admit if I'm like playing and commentating badly, but I do draw the line at the game making me look bad by doing things that I'm not doing. Ah, uh, but there was a thing up there and I want to get. Can I get? Okay, we were able to get, and I'm okay with this. And we're currently on gold, and hopefully I won't sniffle up. We got the moon clock! Okay, I am very happy with this, then. We got the sun and the moon. I'm content with just that. Though, Pokemon players these days would insist on having stars as well. Well, I can live without. Then again, tangentially relevant, but then that's what I'm good at. Pokemon sun, Pokemon moon. Never played either. Kind of? Sort of wanted to get both? Fuck off, I did not touch you. Oh yes, just put those where I can't get them before they despawn. Nice and considerate of your game. I take exception to that, but hey, at least we're still gold. But yes, Sun and Moon. Never played them. Kind of wanted to. And then they announced Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I have no idea what the difference is. But if they are different the way I think they're different, then I don't approve at all. Like, if it's just a case of... Oh, hey, it's the same game again, but we're charging full retail price for you to buy it again, even though we've made minimal changes whatsoever. Like, that, I'm not okay with. So that's what makes me glad that I never bothered with the original Sun and Moon. But then again, what if I just end up not getting Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon either for the same... Well, not the same... Well, yeah, I guess the same reason of not having money at the right time and also forgetting to be asked when it matters most. How long have I been on this rant, by the way? And I don't trust that bridge. Like, I feel like it'll dip so much with Kirby on it that you can get poked through the floor with spikes and- Ooh, that's a ripple, but where are the nuns? There you go. I brought the quality of this commentary back, or at least I would like to be assured that I have. Did I miss the three again? I feel like I missed the three again, unless it's here. It is here. Well, there we go. I brought it back around. Oh, and yes, there is still the, um, the water music song. Which reminds me of a time at university where... Oh, I see what you did there, game. Where, um, one of the things that I study, and will continue to study in my third year, is, is TV. TV production. And, hold on. Uh, we have to do, like, you know those little things you see sometimes on TV before... Fuck you. Before a, a broadcast starts. And it's like, it's this countdown clock, and then it disappears, and it's got, like, the name of the show and the director and all that stuff. Well, we had to... But we have to do those before everything that we record, and would like for our most recent assessment, which has been and gone and is done with by now, we had to do um like a, a music program, and we didn't have a title when we were rehearsing this particular time, and so I just set the title as "What a music song!" with an exclamation mark, and no one noticed. So that was a fun time from my real life world place. Whistle, what are you gonna do? Are you going to beep the fish away? Beep beep, I'm a fish. I like that effect. I'm not quite sure why that worked, but I'll live. Blub Blub Ocean. Did you ask my younger self to name that level? I mean, I've mentioned before the tendencies that I had of, like, naming levels was my thing back in the day. And... It was a bit hit or miss, really. I had good ideas, I had not so good ideas. And... I don't know, I don't think I ever hit quite a, such a low as Blub Blub Ocean, but there was something not far off from that, I think. I don't remember. This was many years ago. I don't want to recall my younger years, because 
Sometimes it hurts me to remember things because I was such a worthless child. Well, that turned dark pretty quickly. Hello there, star. I'm going to use you. Apparently a star is worth four blips on the Wumpometer. Duly noted for future reference. Categorically wizened. <laughs> Category wisdom teeth. And we're back to me being some sort of noodle again. Because that, that started as like a, a quote from from Oxenfree, and then it just sort of turned into wisdom teeth. As, as, you, as it does, you know. <laughs> you know when you're trying to be clever and then you're just not. Story of my life. Okay, you're a jellyfish. I, I, that looked like it would have been funny to read, and I just sort of didn't. Well, how am I supposed to... Oh, I can just whip downwards, that is. <laughs> Good point me. There was me thinking I had to do something fancy in order to get down here. Nope, you just need to whip the floor. Which in any other game would sound unreasonable, but in this case it makes perfect sense. So, whoosh and Jaffa Cakes. Incidentally, are Jaffa Cakes an international thing, or do we just have them in the UK and occasionally America? Because... I mean, there was the whole debate once upon a noodle of, um, are they biscuits or are they cakes? And this was like a really important, like, national crisis because it affected how much you paid for them because I think you have to pay tax on cake but not biscuits or the other way around. And I believe the conclusion that they came to was that they are cake because they go hard when stale, whereas biscuits start hard and go soft when stale, and, and cake starts soft and goes hard when stale, so that that's how they ruled that in the end. And there, there are some flavours of Jaffa Cake that I could swear exist and don't, or vice versa. I could swear don't exist but do. Hmm, I don't think I've actually thought it in that direction, but anyway. Like, pineapple. Have there ever been pineapple Jaffa Cakes? Because I feel like that would be an... A, a truly fun time. I don't trust your noodle hair, by the way, Mr. NSYNC. Like, yeah, there's uh, there's that one member of NSYNC whose hair looks like instant noodles. Like, like, unprepared instant noodles as well, like, um... Like, just the raw container. Not the container, like, the, the noodles before they've been put in water. Can you be helped? Can I whip you real good? No. Okay. Well, I had to do it for science. Hope you understand. This ocean has not been very blubby so far. Oh. We have legs, fish legs, a tail, dolphin, woo. I don't feel like any progress was made there because they didn't increase in tone as I passed through them. Like it didn't go whoop, 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 it, it just stayed the same pitch. Therefore, clearly, I feel undervanished. Anyway, Whee! that was pathetic. Story of my life. <laughs> okay. Actually, here's an actual story from my actual life, though. So, the high school I went to was, um, like, a lot of the time, students there, like, the whole point of that school was for it, it was to be a school for the gifted and or wealthy. So, like, I don't want to throw too much shade against my former classmates, but some of them, like, like, I got in because I was a clever and gifted student. A lot of them, you could tell, were only there because their parents were loaded. One such example was a friend of mine who legitimately thought, and I quote, Dolphins are just gay sharks. Well, as fabulous as that would be, no. <laughs> there was someone who told me to my face that there's no such thing as a male cat because they're all feline. I don't think you understand what the word feline means. There was someone else who, I believe, they thought that all bees are female and all wasps are male, and that that's how things are. Like, bees are just female wasps and wasps are just male bees. Like, really? This is supposed to be a school for the clever. And then there are these people. There was one as well, and steering right into a not safe for work territory here. There was one who, I've, I've told his story before, bless his heart. He wanted to grow up and be a doctor. He couldn't get into any university in the UK, had to move to the Czech Republic. True story. But I, I mentioned before, he once thought, he, like, he once mistook when I had laryngitis for meningitis and convinced himself that I was about to die. And also, he believed that the menopause in women caused the vagina to, quote, heal itself shut. Just gonna let that one hang in the air for a minute. So, <laughs> how does one follow up a conversation after saying something like that? How do I get high enough to collect disc? I can see it, and I want it. What is the do? 
I mean, like, I could press two in the air, but do I have to do some sort of... Nope, nearly. If I can get two spins in before breaching the surface... Hey! I don't know if I did the right thing there, but I'll take it. I shall boop you, and you shall sacrifice your noodle religion. Wait, no, that's just pastafarianism. Huh, I really thought you were going to insist that I took damage there, because I know what this game can be like in these later chapters. Oh, we need to play sports ball somehow. Hold on, I don't trust these jellyfish. Anyway, so how do make go? H how do make go? How do catch ball? <laughs> I want to be an impressive dolphin fish. Are dolphins fish? Oh, it's, it's hold down the button. That was not obvious at all. And that's a chair. How, how do do? How do do? Kirby, you're not very good at this. Clearly it's Kirby's fault and not mine for not quite grasping the controls. Right, so hold down the button to grab the thing, right? No, just swim over the thing. No, it is grab, it is hold the button. What, what do you want me to do, game? Yeah. Just hump the wall, okay. Okay, wow. Okay, so I, I had a feeling that was how you got a, an item, but like, wow, these controls are actual garbage. I didn't think this game had such trouble, but apparently so. Well, I don't trust myself not to take damage before the end of the level, so you know what? Yes, we are doing all three of these, even with the garbage controls that make no sense. Like, seriously, I, I can't even explain how these controls work. They are just not very good. Hence the sped-up montage you will have just seen, I assume. Also, you just can't turn around if the ball gets too close to the wall there. Like, that was... That was a very poorly implemented section, and I make no apologies for that. Like, normally, if something goes wrong in this game, I feel bad. But in this case, no. <laughs> oh, how, how, did I, how did I get through those without taking a hurt? Wow. Was not expecting that to be quite so fufty foofle. I thought that would hurt more than it did. Just a, a polite translation there. I paid no attention to when I was whipping the... I was too busy getting lost in self-pity that I didn't even pay attention to when I was whipping the bell. I'm so good at this game, I swear. Ugh. By the way... Completely irrelevant story that I'm going to end the episode with. So, yesterday I watched the first Spy Kids film, and I didn't even realise that Antonio Banderas was one of the people in it, even though he's in it for quite a bit of the film. I had that same problem when I watched Mean Girls for the first time, didn't realise that was Lindsay Lohan. I say the first time, I intend to watch it again, but I haven't watched it since my first time, which was 2013, and you know what, Beardrix? Fine. I have stuff to cut out of this episode, so fine, we will... End the episode with your last level, assuming, well, your next level, rather, assuming it's not as arse as the previous one, except the previous one wasn't arse, so what the, what is the deal there? Whale? Well, okay then. I, I take no objections to this. You see, would it come as no secret island? Well, that kind of was spoiled for us when we got the, uh, the music disc in, uh, no, in thingy level, splash beach. So, yeah, it was spoiled that there is a secret island land. What was I saying? I was saying something. Well, wh whatever it is, it's gone, and you will just have to live with never knowing what I was just talking about. Welcome to my world. Okay, Beatrix, what is your final mission nutrition of this episode? And can we do it? Will it be... 20 seconds to get 200 beads? I'm expecting dolphin shenanigans, and generally a bad time, but hey, but hey. No, do oh yes, dolphin, that is dolphin right there. We just didn't start as a dolphin, therefore clearly we are not a dolphin. Don't, just as long as it's not bloody dolphin basketball again, because I have no patience for, whoa, okay, that's a whale. Just don't hit the thing in the middle and you should be gravy. And obviously collect the beads as well, that's a good, prerogative to employ. Do I recognize this room from the level that I just did? I don't know. I'm surprised you didn't unlock another bead level right off the back of that, to be perfectly honest, but hey. 
So that's a nice sort of bookends to this episode at the beginning and the end we beat a Beatrix level. So as we receive this prize I will say with great pleasure that I have been and will continue to be desolating hexagons and I will see you in the next episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn where hopefully I will get some of my mojo back and actually play decently. Curtain on curtain action, activate! <laughs> <laughs>